Welcome to Reaction Zero. I am Tyrell, and I'll be going over a walkthrough on finding all 43 passengers to get the trophy, Get Closure. The first thing you want to do when you awaken from the plane crash and gather control of your character is to turn around and get the plane's manifest from the back of the plane. Let's gather the passengers above ground first, then move to the caves. The first group of passengers will be located outside of Cave 1. There will be five passengers here in total. The last group of passengers above ground will be at the main cannibal camp in the southeast of the map. There will be a total of seven passengers above ground and two just inside the entrance to cave two. And while you're here, grab the map and compass if you haven't done so already. The next three passengers will be located in Cave 3. I won't fast forward in the caves in hopes not to lose anyone due to decreased visibility. There will be one location you can use a climbing axe, but it is not necessary. The chainsaw will be located left of the third passenger. For Cave 1's passengers, we'll use all three cave entrances to make finding them easier than running around in a dark maze. These two passengers are down the rope and to your left. The next Cave 1 entrance will be in the first location we found the five passengers outside. There's one path. Go straight and you will not miss the passenger.
The last Cave 1 entrance is also known as the back door to the katana, which will be located with the group of three passengers. After the first rope is also where the toy torso is located if you need the good father trophy, which I also have a guide up for. There will be four passengers in cave 5, easily obtainable from the middle entrance. Once down from the rope, all passengers will be to your left, opposite of the dead guy by the lit lantern. The next two passengers will be found on the cave 6 entrance by the goose pond. You will need to go down three long ropes until you reach the two passengers without heads on the floor. Their heads will be lit by the wooden barricade with a tape in one's mouth. The last four passengers in Cave 6 will be easiest to find from the shipping container's entrance. The picture makes it look like the passengers are close, but we'll have to go around and deep down to find them. This is also the cave to find the key card. It will be found after the rope behind a wooden barricade I run past.
The next two passengers will be located in Cave 9. This is the exit to Cave 9, and you normally need the climbing axe to go in or out, but if you hug the wall and be careful, you can make it down without taking damage. Make sure to grab the climbing axe while in here, you will need it for the last group of passengers. If you already have the climbing axe, chances are you already have these two passengers. You literally have to walk past them to get the climbing axe. The next group of three passengers are directly inside of Cave 7. For the last group of four, you will need to go into the Cave of Ways. After breaking the two wooden barricades, make your way around the sinkhole. You could go down this climbing axe location, but the longer route is easier to see where I'm going. After the first rope, you will need to jump a gap. Make sure you have enough stamina and jump. On the next rope, do not use L3 to slide down the rope. The edge of the sinkhole is right behind you and it's easy to fall to your death. Now here is where the climbing axe is required. Equip the climbing axe and go straight across. Next, climb the rope up and this cave is where you'll find the remaining four passengers. This is also where the racket weapon, pedometer, and tennis outfit is located. If you're new, enjoyed this content, or would like to see me do more of the forest guides, please drop a like, 
comment any questions, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.